Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Over the weekend, actually the last weekend, um, I was able to go on a little vacation with the family and the reason why I'm mentioning this is I had the opportunity to test out the waterproofing of the Galaxy S7. Uh, we were staying at a hotel in Las Vegas and one of the things I needed to do was to try to use the camera in water. Uh, so we're going to see how that worked, uh, how well that actually performed. I'm going to show you guys some footage, some pictures I took of it also when we went to the Grand Canyon. Uh, but overall, just want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, and again, of course, I'm filming this using the S7's front-facing camera. So again, overall, just front-facing, back-facing experience using the Galaxy S7 camera. And again, I want to say thanks to Verizon for giving me this device for review. Hope you guys enjoyed the pictures and the videos that I was able to put through. Uh, one of the things that kind of got to me is even though the phone is waterproof and I'm able to put it in the pool and I was even able to keep it in my pocket throughout the time I was swimming in the pool, uh, somehow, some reason, it, the water kind of registers as a touch. Uh, it would launch multitasking. It would actually shut down the video almost. Uh, it wasn't my choice to actually have short clips. It was actually every time I, I go in or I put it in the water, uh, the screen starts becoming kind of non-responsive or becomes basically uh, erratic. Uh, stops the video and it goes back into normal mode and sometimes just changes things. Um, you are able to use it. It is waterproof. It's not damaging the device. The device, as you can see, I'm still talking to you guys and we're using it to record this video. Uh, but just overall keep in mind, uh, it's not intended to be used in the pool for an extended amount of time. You could try to do like a, um, a time lapse or try to do like the, uh, the delayed picture taking and you can put the phone directly in the water and then it'll snap a picture. The most I was able to do was two seconds. So again, very nice, definitely ruggedized in the sense of where it basically just handles itself in the water. It will survive. If you forget it in your pocket, and you jump in the pool or somebody pushes you in the pool, you're good. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to put another small video showing some comparison footage that I did with the uh, S7 as well as the G5 while I was at the Grand Canyon. So like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. This is the LG G5. It's here. I finally have it from T-Mobile. I did a pre-order and, and we'll go ahead and just do a quick unboxing. Uh, nothing really very specific.